Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to have you here today because we're answering another one of my most asked questions. Everyone is always leaving comments and asking, Tanner, I really wanna be able to sell tumblers, but I do not know what vinyl to use and where should I get the tumblers and different things like that. So in today's video, I'm going to break it down for you guys and give you some tips and tricks that I've found when creating tumblers. To get started, the main thing that you need to do is to have premium outdoor vinyl. This is an amazing vinyl that is gonna be perfect for anything that is able to get a little moist and be okay. Now, this is not dishwasher safe. None of the vinyl that I use, I would consider dishwasher safe. I would wanna make sure that this is hand washed and that way it's going to take care of it. It's no steam from your dishwasher washer and it's going to last for years to come. The main thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you're using premium outdoor vinyl from Cricut. There's other ones out there, but the one I recommend is from Cricut. It's amazing and I love it. It's a definitely a more durable vinyl that is going to be able to work on your tumblers, but also on your windows, on your cars, things like that. It's perfect for monograms, anything that you need to have a really durable vinyl. This is what you're going to want to have. It comes in so many different colors and you're going to really enjoy it. And plus, it's really simple to use and anyone, if you're especially selling, you're going to have a lot of success using this from all of your customers. After you have awesome vinyl, you really need to make sure you have a fantastic tumbler. I love these from Walmart. They're super inexpensive and going to be perfect for your own use, but also when you're selling. This is great quality and everyone has been really happy with these, especially from my friends and family that uses Cricut to create projects and sell it. These are great and everyone loves it. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you just some simple ways of applying vinyl onto a tumbler. It's really easy in there. It doesn't require a lot of extra steps and when I was picking these up at Walmart uh, yesterday Mama was at, actually with me and she was like Tanner I want one so I asked her what she wanted me to put on it and she said number one Mama so she gave herself the title and I totally agree with her and we just cut it out really quickly in some green outdoor vinyl it's perfect and super simple so we just cut that with the Cricut maker and it's really easy so what we're going to do is just use some transfer tape you do not need the strong grip transfer tape for this, but if you're trying to apply something to a car or anything like that, you could use it. When you're selling these, you usually just want to go ahead and apply the transfer tape on here for the customer, and then they'll apply it wherever they like. After you apply the transfer tape, what I like to do is split the project over and varnish it. This is gonna make sure that if your customer or anyone is going to remove it, it's already varnished and going to peel up with ease. You can also use a credit card, but we love using the scraper tools from Cricut that come with your accessories. One of my favorite tips that I learned actually from a Cricut employee, I never thought of it, but it was actually to take your uh, vinyl and place it down onto your table and then grab your transfer sheet and pull it up like so. It is a great way to make sure that everything stays down and you're gonna have a flawless result every single time. Now, all you wanna do is take your tumbler lay it down right here, align this up, and what we're going to do is start in the middle, just like so. Apply a little pressure with your finger and smooth it out. If you see any bubbles like I have right here, you can just peel this up like so, and then press it out. It's a super easy way. Then what you can do if you have any bubbles, since it is round and it kind of changes shape a little bit, you just want to take it and focus on your actual vinyl just like so. I love using the scraper tool, but again, if you have an old gift card, anything like that will work just as well. After you're done smoothing it out, all I like to do is start in a corner and I like to peel back. I like to try to keep it as tight as possible. I don't like to peel up. I like to make sure that I'm peeling straight back, just like so. This keeps a tight grip. If you see anything not sticking, just go ahead and take your scraper or a credit card, apply it back down, varnish it a little bit better, and try again. Another tip is to make sure you clean this with rubbing alcohol to make sure that there's no grime or anything on here so that your vinyl decal lasts for a while. 
And just like this, you have an amazing little tumbler that my mamaw is going to love for years to come. If you guys have any questions on creating tumblers or using vinyl or anything about the Cricut, leave me a comment below. If you're interested in building your business through die cutting, I have an amazing course that will be a lot of benefit to you, teaching you how to create your store, how to market, and how to create. Let me know if you guys have any questions and be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.